Ready? So here we are again at uh, AutoEU, and uh, what we're going to be demoing here in this test is we're going to be demoing the, showing the different effects between high current coils and the deceleration effect that they have on the prime mover and high voltage coils and their effect on the, uh, on the prime mover which is acceleration which is the exact opposite of what's occurring here and as you can see we have two high current coils which are connected in series we have two high voltage coils which are connected in series and what you'll see in this test is when we load the high current coils through this light bulb the system will decelerate when we load the high voltage coils through these four LEDs the system will accelerate and um, that's essentially it so I'm going to uh, time we're putting 67.8 volts into our prime mover, roughly 221 watts, and our system is accelerating. There's no load on the prime mover. And now I'm going to introduce load into the high current coils. disconnect the high current coil. Now the prime mover is uh, accelerating back up once again. Now I'm going to introduce the high voltage coils. again. Now we're, we're operating under the exact same conditions as we were previously. The only difference is the high current coils, the, the high voltage coils I should say, are compensating for the high voltage coils and the system is continuing to accelerate. We're at 184 183 watts to our prime mover and we're continuing to accelerate and as you can see the light bulb on the high current coils is lit brightly to get it closer to that loop between high voltage coils and high current coils. The high voltage coils cause the system to accelerate under load and the high current coils cause the system to decelerate. That's it.